Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman. And what we need to do now, after we've taken the roller off of the handle and we put the paint back in the, in the, in the paint can, we do need to wash the brush. Now, I use a purdy brush. Purdy, P-U-R-D-Y. I get it over at Home Depot or Lowe's or I believe Menards has it as well. Uh, sure, certainly Sherwin-Williams would have it. Um, I like an angle brush because I do a lot of trimming. And these brushes run, they can run between $12, $15, sometimes $18, depending on where you get them, which means it's a high-quality brush. And you want to wash it nice because you want it to last. You want to be able to use it over and over and over again until you just can't use it anymore. So this is what, how we do it. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to wash up the brush and we're going to put it down here to the sink. I'm going to run the warm water. Still got my gloves on because we've been painting and even though you're, you're washing this stuff, you still got your, you're still going to get paint on your hands. So let's wash, let's wash these out. Okay. And what I'm doing here is I'm spreading the bristles and getting the paint that's in between the bristles. All right. So what we're doing here is we're spreading out the bristles and we're making sure that we're getting all of the paint out from between the bristles. Just like that. See? And this looks pretty nice. Now, see? Nice brush. Looks pretty nice. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go outside and give this a good shake back and forth back and forth back and forth to get the rest of the water out you don't want to do that on the inside of the house because that that water droplets will go every place the one thing to remember when you're doing all of this kind of stuff is remember that you got a good quality brush get one that you can hold in your hand it's something that feels good in your hand each brush has got a different application the the cheaper the brush uh, the poorer the job or the different type of material you're going to use it on. Let's say you can, you're not going to use something like this, this fine, this nice brush which is used for trimming between the walls and the ceiling and around woodwork. Uh, you're going to use a different brush for, let's say, staining or a different brush for painting on concrete or a patio or exterior wood, something like that. This is a more finer brush, more for detail. Uh, and this brush here for the inside of your house is going to be better than those other brushes. So, one hint. You paint with this portion of the brush, okay, from here down to here. Not from here up to here. I have never seen anybody be able to paint a wall or a trim from here to here loaded with paint. From here down, yes. You don't paint with the metal you don't paint with the brush. So try not to get paint on the metal or the brush. All right, just be careful. Dip your brush in up to about that point. Go like this on both sides of your bucket and then start painting. It's not hard to do, but like I say, it does take practice. Now, painting actually is fun. It's a very detail oriented thing. The steadier your hand, the better the job. If you can't have a steady hand, if you just don't have a steady hand, that's why they have the painter's tape. Put the painter's tape on first, and then you can paint up to, not really on the painter's tape, but up to it. Use the green stuff, the frog tape, or the yellow frog tape. The blue stuff is okay. It does a pretty good job. Again, the green stuff, the frog tape, and the yellow stuff, the frog tape, it's more expensive. But you're going to get a better job. It's more expensive, but you're going to get a better job. Some paints are cheap. They're 25 bucks a gallon. Some paints I've seen over $100. You're going to get a better job. It depends on the application. 
It depends on your pocketbook. It depends on whether it's inside or outside. And it depends on if you think it's just a, you're just painting the shed or you're painting the master bedroom. All of that comes into play on what you buy for what application. Brush is clean. Once it's clean, hang it up outside. That's what the hole is for up here. Hang it on a nail someplace and let it air dry outside in the garage, the shed, downstairs in the basement, wherever you put your supplies. Put it someplace where it, gets, it can get some nice air to it and let it dry out. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. I'm hoping that the teachings that I'm giving you, at least you're learning something from it and give you some encouragement. You can do this. You can do this. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. You're good at what you can do. You can do anything that anyone else can do. Just have them show you how in the practice. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.